Oh, hello there. Welcome to my vlog party, people. Yeah, I'm in Hawaii. Hawaii? Waikiki, Honolulu, all the same place. Right now, I'm here to support a buddy who is doing a show here. He's always supported me in all of my competing endeavors, so I'm here to support him. But what I'm gonna do right now is Alec and I are about to put the finishing touches on today's vlog that I filmed earlier this week. It's all about focusing on my favorite chest movements. So it's like my four favorite chest movements. They're a little bit unorthodox. Um, I'm gonna do a voiceover with it. Hopefully you guys like these voiceovers because it allows me to actually work out and then do these voiceovers later. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna upload that vlog and then we're gonna go train and do all that good stuff. So enjoy this vlog. Let me know what your favorite chest exercises are. Again, you might not be able to do all of these in your gym, but if you can and haven't done them before, give them a try. I always tell people, when you're building your arsenal of exercises that you like to do in the gym, try something. If you work, if, if you're doing it right, and if you feel it, keep it, use it. Put it in your, you know, your arsenal. If it doesn't, try something else, move on to the next thing. And that's how you build like this. That's how you build a better physique, really, because you're gonna do things, you know, like in this video, you're gonna see some of these exercises that, um, you know, just slight little changes that you might find, like me, very helpful. So, thanks for watching. I'm not gonna do that voiceover right now. All right, so for the first chest movement, we're gonna be using, well, you'll see it. It's a pretty interesting bar. We're able to change up our grip on it. And since I wanna really work that chest width today, I'm gonna to go a little bit wider than normal. I'm gonna go about 10 to 15 reps, depending on which set we're on. We're gonna do four sets total on this, and we're gonna superset it with a band pull apart. So we have a pushing exercise, and then we're gonna have a pulling exercise. Work the rear delts, some, some trap, and then also some back. All right, warm up set on here. Important you warm up on this one because it's a little bit squirrely of a motion. You can see I'm using a wide grip and it's more of a neutral grip. Obviously when we do a, a typical bench press, we're in a pronated grip. So this really just opens up the chest and allows us to uh, use less anterior delt basically. Supersetting it with our banded pull part. Such a simple movement, but yet so effective. With all the pushing that we're doing, we need to balance that out with some pulling. You feel me? Okay, into our working sets here. So I thought I was gonna do three working sets, one warm-up set, and really get, you know, 10 to 15 reps. I threw 225 on, and, and just the, how unstable this bar is, how many stabilizing muscles I'm using, and every bit of my chest comes into play here, I, I did not get as many reps as I thought I would. Um, right back to the banded pull parts making sure I get 10 reps here, really forcing the scapulas down and back and squeezing, using a little bit of rear delts, but also the back. Um, our second exercise here for the bench press is the incline key press. This one is key, but um, um, obviously as we lower the dumbbells, we go to more of a supinated grip and that really puts our chest in a position to get maximum stretch, which then allows us to contract at the top so much better. I love doing dumbbell exercises. This one is uh, such, such a good one. You can do them on a flat bench, on a decline bench, or on the incline bench like we're doing right now, but definitely activates a crazy amount of chest fibers. It's almost like an, you know, an Arnold press, just more, uh, more obviously horizontal than vertical. Uh, we did four sets on here, 12 to 15. Uh, my next favorite exercise that I, I really don't see a ton of people doing is, I call them Cook Willis, or you can call them a landmine press. The key on these is to try to touch the elbows. You're not gonna be able to, but by forcing the elbows together, we're activating the chest and, and, and you're pushing up. So you are gonna use a little bit of your anterior delt here, but really the goal is to make it more of like a, an incline movement, squeeze with the elbows, and then press up. This is a great movement for your inner chest here. We do four sets, 10 to 12 reps on this. And really, again, it, it, I call it the peekaboo muscles, which is that, that upper inner chest. If you're wearing uh, that deep V, hopefully not too deep, because we do have laws against a deep, deep V. I'm supersetting those with a pull-up because I skipped 
the day before in the gym. I'm gonna be honest with you, I skipped it. It was my back day, so I'm, I'm supersetting chest and back. This isn't typical, but I love supersetting chest and back. The pump is insane, and uh, definitely always working some pull-ups. All right, moving on. Next favorite chest exercise, single arm cable fly. So the reason we're doing single arm because it really allows us to go through full range of motion. If I was to do this double arm, I would be touching <clears throat> those in the middle right out in front of my face. As you can see here when I'm doing them, I'm going across my body. And that last, let's call it 15%, is really where I start feeling the chest just come alive. So much of that inner pec starts popping out, starts screaming when you hold even for a half second there at the end, uh, but that mind-muscle connection, it, it, that last 10%, it, it does so much on that exercise. We're supersetting that with a low cable pulley. Don't ask me why I have my Olympic lifting shoes and, and my, my knee wraps on. I was gonna do some, some legs, but I decided I wanted to do chest and back, so don't judge me. I mean, I skipped leg day, I'm not gonna lie. But this one, I'm pulling to my lower lat and just squeezing the hell out of it. This one is all about the squeeze there, getting that maximal stretch to, and then pulling back to your hip. This one is one I don't see a ton of people doing, but it's a great one to superset with. All right, that is it for our chest workout today. Um, those are my favorite, four, I guess, favorite chest exercises that you might not be doing. They're all a little bit different. We hit, obviously, the flat, the flat bench press. Really like that bar because you're able to use an alternate grip and it just feels different. Um, using more of a neutral grip. Then we go into the key press on the incline. We talked about how that is isolated, or that is, we talked about how that is actually activating diff different muscle groups to go from that supinated position like an Arnold press. And then from there moving into, I call them Cook Willis's, they're more of like a landline press. I call them Cook Willis because Chad and I used to do them back in the day. Um, and then lastly, just the, an isolated cable chest fly, single arm. These, I think, might be good things to try. I'm always a big fan of you try something. If it works for you, start implementing it more, see how it feels. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work for you, maybe see if you're doing it correctly. And if it still doesn't, don't use it. But uh, if you have any other chest exercises that are maybe a little bit unorthodox that you guys like, leave them in the comments below. And then thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you wanna see more like this. And I appreciate you, we'll see you guys next time.